looks like I'm seeing double. So if any of y'all catch that reference, that was the theme song to the 1969 Disney classic, Herbie the Love Bug. One of my favorite childhood car films. I figured it'd be a great opener to the to the next review I'm doing, which is the 1969 BF Weevil. You could pop up in a mood ring, rock a stack perm, roll a doobie, and crash the stock market. Or... For a faster 70s vibe fix, you could just purchase the Weevil. Some fashions are timeless. I gotta say, right off the bat, I love this car. I love it so much, I made two versions. A Herbie tribute car and a Baja off-road Weevil. I'll be driving both versions throughout this video, and I'll give my thoughts on both the on-road and off-road handling characteristics. While the Weevil really has no history as of now because it's a new car, I like to say that it looks very similar to its off-road counterpart, the BF Injection, which has had a long history within the series. Rather than basing the design off of the Injection, Rockstar decided to make a whole new car from the ground up instead. I also added a custom BF Surfer in this clip to complement the duo of cars. It only makes sense, of course. I did a review on the Surfer a while back, I will link it in the description or probably have a little card up above in the video if y'all are interested. As I said earlier, uh, the car really has no history, it's pretty obvious. But what it's based on is the highly recognized and lovable Volkswagen Type 1, or simply the Beetle. It has had many different features added from several model years of the car itself, including a split rear window like on the injection which was featured on all Type 1 bugs from 1938 to 1953. In addition, the rear taillights resemble that of ones uh, from Beatles built before the 1967 redesign. I actually have a buddy of mine uh, who's a bit of an expert on Beatles and the different redesigns and facelifts and stuff like that. I would probably show this car to him, but for right now, I'm just going to go off the wiki page. According to the Weevil's uh, model in-game, the Weevil features a rear-mounted single overhead cam flat 4, which somewhat resembles the Volkswagen H4 engine, which during production engine displacements ran from 1100cc to about 1600cc, producing between 40 and 50 years horsepower. I have reason to believe the wiki might be wrong though, because I believe the engine it's based on is actually an overhead valve design, not single cam, but I could be wrong. I have reason to believe, though, that the engine model is based off the one from the injection. The only difference being, they have an animated fan belt. Ooh, I mean, I'll give them props for that. They updated it, so that's good, I guess. This is probably my second uh, criticism about interior designs in the car GT5. The first one was probably the BF Surfer, funnily enough, for being too modern looking. The BF Surfer I'm complaining about is because it's too basic. Now, we're talking about a Beetle here, which back in the day was the most basic of transportation you could buy back in the 60s. Um, I, I don't really like how it takes the same color as the primary paint job. I can under I can see the appeal though, you know, the whole stripped out look if you want to do a Baja bug build, but, um, well, for reference right here, I'm showing a picture of a 1965 Beetle. Granted, you didn't get much in the real life counterpart to begin, but you got like a, tack you got, like, a Speedo, uh, fuel gauge, maybe a temperature gauge. In GTA 5, you get a tachometer. So, I mean, not that that matters because you don't need to shift gears manually, but uh, that's cool. Um, but I, f I wish they could have given us an option to have a custom interior. At least, I mean, it would have been nice. Um, but uh, funnily enough, I think the injections interior was a little bit better. And that one looks like absolute crap. So, I guess, you know, I take what I can, you know? Since this car is rear engine and rear drive, this car does feel a bit weighty in the rear, similar to the Comet. It's also very easy to drift on long corners thanks to a decent power band and torque, despite being based on a car with only 50 horsepower. But Snazzy, you're not drifting, that's just power sliding you fucking idiot. Power sliding, drifting, either way, wheels are breaking loose and I'm doing a skip. Unfortunately, Brohe122 was not made an updated compacts ranking for the fastest compact on the track. 
so I wasn't able to get an accurate reading for how good this car actually is. As far as 0 to 60 time goes, from my calculations, fully upgraded, this car hits a solid 5 or so seconds. Oh yeah, by the way, this thing can do wheelies. Um, I tried to see if I could do one from more than 3 feet, but to no avail. I've covered the on-road handling now, but what about off-road? I decided to take my Baja Weevil to Davis Court's quarry and the Redwood Lights track to get an accurate assessment. The car's weight of handling really does shine here as well. I think it actually works more to its advantage on the dirt than on the tarmac. Um, the, I'm able to do some power side on the dirt, but it does suffer in tighter corners, I think, with this car. A couple times I did spin out or understeer into a freaking rock, so it does have its disadvantages there. Honestly, I wouldn't take this car in races off-road, but I would love to use this car in free mode um, for just cruising off-road. Uh, it kind of makes you feel like some kind of Group B rally driver, except I'm not running into spectators. Overall, this car is pretty good. Not good enough for me to pay nearly 900k or 650k for the trade price, but for a fun little compact, this thing has uh, plenty of power and handling to boot. I definitely would keep this thing around for a while if I had the money in online. 1969 BF Legal. The love boat that keeps on giving. Oh, we're only at 7 minutes. Well, I'm out of script, so um, I guess I could just talk for a couple minutes if. If y'all want to click out the video now, I'm just going to talk for a few minutes and about the video. My review video is basically done at this point, but um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this car. Um, it was um, it was fun to drive it, and I actually, like I said before, I, I modeled one of the cars off of Furby and one of the cars off of just like a Baja bug thing. Um, and uh, I wanted to do a couple scenes from the movie in the game, but uh, I just I, I ended up doing that. I had all this footage too. I have about 15 minutes of footage for this for this whole video, and I am only using like half of it. So that's kind of funny how that works, you know. Um, as far as the BF injection, I have all the footage um, recorded with the roster um, editor. I just need to edit it in the game and render it basically and write the script. Uh, I will say though the BF injection obviously is a much different car than the uh, Weevil so I'll have a lot to say about that car in the next video. Um, so yeah that, that was pretty I, I will admire Rockstar they, they did model the car pretty close to the Beetle almost about the same level of detail as the uh, Blister Conjo it's, uh, it's almost like copyright levels of uh, close you know Except for the interior. The interior is, uh, ugh, I, I hate the interior. I'm, like I said, I don't like it. But, uh, to each her own, I guess. To each her own. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool car. I, um, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun driving it. First time I drove it, I was like, wow, this car feels, like, really good to drive. Like, it feels nice and weighty. It doesn't feel, like, arcadey at all. You can tell it's rear engine and rear drive because the rear end... Even when you're not even trying to, it does like to slide a bit, so. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun driving this car, and uh, I can't wait to uh, do the review on the BF injection. After that, I'm not really sure. I might cover uh, a more abnormal vehicle, like a bus or something, or maybe even another plane. Or maybe I'll cover the uh, Dodo, which is one of my favorite planes in the series. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm supposed to be getting my equipment for my capture car pretty soon. So hopefully, I can start playing some Toko Stream Racer and making some videos about it. You know, uh, all I need is the uh, component cables and the USB uh, printer cable. Um, the, the capture car kind of weird though. It, it records, so you have you plug it in from one side, which hooks it to your TV, and plug it in from the other side, which hooks it to your console. You can record it directly from the capture card, but there's a bit of a delay with the um, card, so it's best to, be, to play on your TV and have your computer capture the footage. So, What I'll probably do for capturing my voice is have my phone hook up my Xbox um, 
headset and then record the audio from there. Um, I'm trying to see if I can build a new PC next year, or well, this year, when I get my tax return. So hopefully I won't even have to use my capture card anymore and just play the games on an emulator instead. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I have a lot of footage left over, but um, I guess it's all going to go to waste then, unfortunately. <laughs> So anyway guys, uh, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. If you didn't, please uh, tell me how I can improve my videos. I'm always open to criticism and I'm always ready to try new things. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.